So hello boys and girls in another Heart of Iron 4 video. I'm starting this video here because I need the chairman to go to the civil war because I just want them to be in civil war. It would be better for me. And now I will just somehow try to rush this focus. I can get to the civil war but I absolutely can't have civil war before this focus is completed because then I, I couldn't do this focus which I need. If I'm getting it right. I have to click on the side light, the left, so they wouldn't threaten me with some civil war. And now I can do this focus, which maybe will start the civil war, but it doesn't matter anymore because I have this focus done. And then I have to rush the agriculture reform so the communists wouldn't start the civil war. So now I will do the agriculture reform and then I will do the ONS. I did it so the communists aren't a threat anymore. So I will click the invite the fallen just into the government. Fascist will be a ruling party. Uh, all the non-allied support will go to fascism. And Obu says Jednocenia Narodovego going to be a ruling party. And I did it right. Yes. That's my stick, pretty sense, because Polish sanation junta. I hope I will be capable to do something. <laughs> to be aggressive to my neighbors before the Soviet Union can be aggressive as well. <laughs> Lithuania has accepted our deal, so now we got their divisions. That's so nice. And now I will get rid of the embargoed economy. Soviet Union went to the civil war. I really like this event. Trotsky called for the international brigades. It's just, oh. And takes you a manpower. This is some very nice focus which gives us reduction to the consumer goods, but not just some reduction, but for 35%, which is actually a lot. Now well, I will be sending ultimatum to the Baltic states, and then I can claim a big part of Soviet Union and then declare a war on them and claim it. I think I will do it just now because they don't have a big army. It is kingdoms trying to do some really bad things because they declared war on Iraq and s for some reason on Netherlands so the Iraq wouldn't be that surprising but the Netherlands. So the Germany demands Mamel. And because I don't have the army here also I don't have a power to conquer them I will just accept it. And Latvia has accepted our demand as well. As well as Estonia. That's so good. Only problem is that I have only divisions for defense, so I did a slightly better version for offensive actions, and these are the divisions we are gonna train now. So we have a war goal against the Soviet Union, and I will use it just now. I released the Estonia because I really don't need it for the real historical commonwealth and also I don't think I will be able to hold that long the line so it's a little bit shortened this is some really nice focus not because what is it doing but because what it's referring to uh, this was a building of Warsaw main railway station before the Warsaw central now I don't know if this building survived the war or it was uh, rebuilt after the war but in the end it was demolished by the communists and in on its place now standing some monument in front of the palace culture and science. This is just terrible, I'm doing micro for two hours straight, they're attacking me constantly. They lost two and a half million of men, I lost a million of men. I slowly took Moscow, for some reason the United Kingdom had declared war on us, that means that Austria-Hungary gonna attack us. Okay. Entire allies had declared war on me. There are some naval invasions. In terms of casualties, we are speaking of three and a half million to one and a half million. That's absolutely not good. And also allies declared on us, so... Even if we manage to somehow win against Soviets, we still have the entire allies to conquer. At this moment it's just the pure pain. I feel like this is a disaster to say the game. Thanks to the focuses I'm getting some divisions. If Austria-Hungary attacked me I have something to hold but 
on pretty much all the no manpower. I can produce as many guns as I would need. I just don't have divisions to attack. At this moment it's just suffering more and more nations are joining the 4th International Even though I managed to do a nice piece of territory My game is so slow I don't know, Germany are, is losing more and more territory now British has never invaded them But if they fall I will fall as well Because I just simply don't have equipment and anything to hold them Okay guys, even though I managed to take some nice chunk of land, I think Germany will capitulate soon, they are just losing more and more land and if they capitulate and it means that allies could take their forces and attack me, which isn't good because I don't have any divisions to hold that. I will end it here, I'm marking this as disaster to save the game, it's just horrible, my PC is slow. I, it would take eternity to crush the Soviets and I just don't want to do it anymore. So if you like this video please consider like and subscribe and have a nice day. Bye.